coming to you from the Deep South. This is the Blue Collar Leadership Podcast. High impact leadership is not reserved for leaders, and it has nothing to do with your position, title, or rank. However, it does have everything to do with your character. It's time to climb to the next level and beyond, personally and professionally. Now, let's start making it happen with your host, Max Story. Hey, everyone. Thanks for listening to the Blue Collar Leadership Podcast. Today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the complexity and dynamic of leadership versus management and throw in followership as well. Because a lot of people I talk to and a lot of people I interact with on LinkedIn, and if you're not connected with me on LinkedIn, go to LinkedIn, type my name in, search me up. If you don't have an account, you need to make your LinkedIn account. But uh, I share a lot of information out there on LinkedIn. But I, I always see people who are con- confused. Sometimes they're kind of going back and forth, talking about the meaning of leadership and the meaning of management and all this stuff gets complicated for a bunch of reasons. One of the main reasons is because kind of everyone has their own definition. So if you read a lot of leadership development books, you listen to a lot of authors or speakers or, or folks out there in the leadership development, personal growth industry, you hear people using it all different ways. And it's complicated. And when you even, even like I understand all the different languages, but it's still hard to talk about because I may put a post on on uh, LinkedIn, and then someone starts getting confused talking about leadership versus management because they speak a different language. And I can speak their language as well, but then other people get confused. So the one thing I want you to know out of this podcast, this episode, I want you to know this. Everyone on this planet is a leader. Everybody. Nobody's exempt. And I'm going to tell you why all this is true in a minute. Everybody on this planet is a follower. No one is exempt. Everybody is a follower. Everybody on this planet is a manager. No one is exempt. Everybody is a manager. So how can we be all of these things? It's real simple because we can change who we are, what we're doing, how we're doing it instantly. So let's talk about it. Again, the basics of leadership. If you've been listening to me very long, you understand I define leadership as influence. I heard John Maxwell say that a long time ago, and, and I bought into that. And ever since then, I've had that frame of reference, that mindset that everybody is a leader. People, you know, when it gets confusing, people start talking about it in different ways. You know, some people, one of the questions people ask, are leaders born? I've never met a leader that wasn't born. Every single one of them is born. Every single follower is born. Every single manager is born. What they really mean is are, are, are people born with a higher level of leadership skills and abilities than other people? Absolutely. Just like anything, any sport, any competency, any type field, there are people who are naturally good at things and people who are not not naturally good at things. So, yes, people are born with a higher level of leadership ability. But we can also learn it just like you can get better at any skill. You can learn to get better at leadership. You can learn to get better at, at plumbing or welding or or whatever world you live in. So leadership is influence. Everybody on this planet has influence. That makes them a leader. Again, everybody's not leading at the same level. On a scale of 1 to 10, where are you on that scale? You don't get to start at zero because you have influence. So you're a leader. Everybody's a leader. And then is it positive influence or is it negative influence? And it could be both. You could be positive one minute, negative the next minute. So you're never at the same place at any for any length of time. You're all over the place. And again, Followership, when we're following people, that means they're influencing us. As soon as you ask someone a question, you just switch from leader to follower. When you ask someone a question, you're asking them to influence you with their answer. So everybody's following. The best leaders are also the best followers. 
and they're also the best managers. And, and the reason we're all managers is because everybody is managing something throughout their day. We should manage things and processes. We have to. Things and processes don't think and feel. They have to be managed. But we should lead people because they can think and feel. But unfortunately, many people take a shortcut and rest on their authority, their power, their position, their rank, and choose to manage people because that's a choice. You can lead people or manage people. When you're managing people, you're treating them like objects and like things. When you lead people, you're treating them like people. So we manage our processes throughout our day, in our personal life, in our professional life. We influence other people throughout the day. Other people influence us throughout the day. The whole point of this episode was to set your frame of reference. Everybody is a leader, a follower, and a manager. The most effective people, highly effective people, know when to, when to be in each role. They know when to lead. They know when to follow. They know how to lead. They know how to follow. They know when to manage. They know how to manage. They know when not to manage. But nobody's perfect. We get it right and wrong all day long. So that's all I want this episode to be about was to just plant that seed in your mind because it gets complicated out there. Who's a leader? Who's a manager? Who's, who's a follower? All this kind of stuff. We're, we're all of that stuff. That's why we need to learn how to lead. That's why we need to learn how to follow. That's why we need to learn how to manage. Because if we want to be highly effective, we've got to do it all. And then we've got to be in the positive lane, not the negative lane. And even that gets complicated because that comes down to values. What's positive for one person may be negative for another person. That's where you have to decide who you are, who you want to attract, who you want to interact with. And then, unfortunately, you forget about the other folks because they don't value who you are and what you are. I know that sounds kind of harsh, but imagine if you're a decent, honest person. You don't want to hang out with criminals, and they don't want you to hang out with them. If they, if they won't start to see it your way, if they want to become a better person, absolutely, we'll help them all day long. But if they try to get me to go their direction, I ain't interested. I stay away from those folks. That's just a simple example. But think about it today. Think about it every day. You're a leader. You're a follower. You're a manager. So I hope I help share some insight and provoke some thought. And have a great day. Talk to you next time. Make it happen or someone else will. It might as well be you. Are you serious about taking your career and your life to the next level and beyond? Check out Max Story's Blue Collar Leadership Series books and others, now available on audio, along with paperback and ebooks at Amazon, iTunes, and Audible. Please visit bluecollarleadership.com to learn about Max books, programs, special offers, certifications, and more. Thank you for listening to the Blue Collar Leadership Podcast.